Hi, my name is Yusaki and I'm going to show you how to draw Roroni Kenshin on your nail. First off, I'd like to cover a couple of the utensils that I like to use to make it easier to do fine detail and stuff as such on your nails. The first thing I use is um, a half of a makeup container. It's a piece of plastic. This was actually a uh, half of a compact. It came with like the powder inside of it and makes a really good palette. And when the nail polish dries, it's easy to just chip off and so you can use it over and over again. Another thing for small detail, for small lines and the eyes and the hair and such, is I use a straightened out safety pin. I use the point. Also, I use nails for their flat end to do dots or the top of a heart and for thicker lines and stuff like that. I will post another video to show other anime and Lolita and Dekra nail ideas that I have done. I found that when doing anime guys and anime characters and stuff, it's best to do the skin tone as the base color for your nail. It might be a little bit drab, but it's best to do it that way, and you'll see why as I progress on. So I use a French manicure color for the skin tone, and I put it on a couple coats. And also, it is best to to um, uh, do your nail design when your nail polish is dry less mistakes that way. So I'm going to go ahead and when you're doing it for the first time also have something to look off of. I've done him many times so this is what I have looked off of. I'm sorry that is blurry. Okay, so I'm going to start with his hair. My nail polish is being a bit rude to me, even though I shook it up. Don't worry, if the, don't worry if the first time you do it, it turns out really, really crappy. <laughs> the first time I did it, it barely even resembled Kenshin except for like the hair color. So just try over and over again and make sure that the hand that you are drawing with is on a stable surface resting. It helps immensely, trust me. Make sure to wipe off any hairs, or I have cats, so <laughs> wipe off any cat fur or anything that might attach to your tool. Try to pour out small amounts at a time because the nail polish tends to dry very quickly when you put it on the palette, I found out. And if you like this video, please tell me. And if you have any requests to see anything else done, please feel free to ask. I'd be more than happy to do so for you. Okay, so uh, since I did the top of his head, I'm going to do an outline of black now for the face. Uh, the black I'm using is Boundless Color, and it's called Midnight Magic. The orange color I used is by... I can't even read this. 
Uh, I think it's uh, Kapori, C-A-P-O-R-I. It's then the color is called Bliss. Here's what they look like. Again, sorry about my camera. It's a little bit crappy. In case you're wondering, it is Gact in the background <laughs> that's playing. <laughs> Yay, Gact. I usually don't do so square of a face, but oh well. She got to get nine, eh? The purple and color I'm going to be using for his eyes is put out by the company Milani, and the color is Purple Passion. You probably could have guessed that, though. Okay, I'm going to stop the video now and make a second part. So thank you for watching the first part and move on to the second.